my biggest inspiration? Talk about it. Wake it up. Jay, thank you for being my biggest imp- inspiration, my guy. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even thinking about doing spaces before I became an op. You know what I'm saying? Then my boys became ops. And, you know, I'm petty with dedication. So, you know, it, it, it really... It, it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, without him, it's just none of these spaces would be possible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. You gotta pay homage. <laughs> gotta pay homage to the kid. To the kid, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like what you did to my nigga Rich. So fuck you. <laughs> but anyways. Two times. Two times. <laughs> like I was saying, I don't like this Jason Tatum. I don't like this Jason Tatum uh, hate. I'm I'm not I'm not jacking it. I don't I don't, I don't like that. So but what I do want to know is who y'all think gonna win the championship next year. Uh that's tough. I I I'll say I'll say don't be biased and just choose your team no, if no, you know no, your team ain't going to win. I said Minnesota. I said Minnesota. Minnesota? Okay, what about you, Rich? Don't say the Lakers. Please don't. Uh, I was just about to say Lakers, bro. Oh, my <laughs> God. Foreign. Don't be delusional. Don't be delusional. They ain't winning shit. Not with no Bronny James. It's not happening, bro. That's it. Bronny James and Bron, the first father son duo to win the chip, man. Oh, oh my book it. God. Rich, if you don't cut it out, you don't believe that. <laughs> you don't believe that. <laughs> you don't believe that. Okay. Everybody top. Who is everybody top five? That's what I do need to know. Top five what? Players all time, of all time. All time. Players, right? Yep. All time. I'm going to go. Go ahead, Sean. Retired, and, retired, about retired players as well, right? Like Any, yeah, anybody out of all the t- players in the world. Michael Jordan five times. <laughs> w for foreign. W for foreign. You know what it is. You know what it is. W for foreign. Go ahead, Rich. We already know what you're going to say. We know you. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Oh, yeah, I, got, I got Kobe two. Respect, respect, I got, respect. I got, I got Michael three. Respect, respect. I got uh, Kareem at four. Okay. Okay. And let's see, my fifth, my fifth. I'm gonna say Magic. I'm gonna roll with Magic. Okay, that that's good. Even though MJ at three is yeah. Okay. Anyways, um. Yo, that that is wild. You, um, but uh. Uh, just think about it though. Just think about it though. I mean, no, I respect I, it. No, listen, listen. I fuck with it because yeah, yeah, I got Kobe over Mike too. So and you know that's just that's just me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, go ahead, Joker. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. What's my? Oh, damn, I'm um, supposed to make five? you a co-host. Yeah. What's my top five? You said? Yeah. Top five teams? No players, all time. Of all time, wow. Okay, so I got Kobe, I got Michael. Hey, I I'm, got I'm, I'm loving how the way this sound. <laughs> I got Kobe, Michael, Magic. Um, I got I got Larry Bird. Ooh, tell me I got a Larry Bird jersey hung white up boy, right white now. Boy can shoot. White boy can I got shoot. a Larry Bird jersey and a Pete Maravich jersey hung up right now. So I got yeah, Michael, Kobe, um. Larry Bird and who else I said? And I said Magic Johnson. Yeah. What's up, Fab? You LeBron gonna come in here? Five. I gotta put I gotta put LeBron in there too, though. You damn right if you put Larry Bird. Hey, watch out! Don't don't be, don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. I respect Larry. I respect Larry. He's one of my favorite players. <laughs> LeBron, you know, for sure. My yeah, my top five. Um, it's still it's 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 hard, but I, MJ and Kobe is tied for me. But I, I guess I can go MJ. That's cool. I got MJ. Don't be a fab. Don't be a fab. No, listen. I got MJ, Kobe, Kareem. Then fourth, I got uh, Larry Bird, and then fifth, I got Steph. Yeah. So. You guys say okay. Yeah. Can't mess with that list. Listen. After that Olympic performance, I'm, I'm gonna just say this to you, bro. That's what I don't like. We become prisoners of the moment because of Olympic performance. My thing is, you add he he had to be great before he even step on the Olympic. That's my thing. 
I feel like we have to see Olympics and everybody's like, okay. No, no, no. I'm saying that put the cherry on the top for me. I've been watching Steph since what 2008, since the Davidson run, since he, you know, what I'm saying, since he took the team, since he took his team to the Elite Eight, since to the Elite Eight. So I've been watching them for a long time. The only reason that I would have, I can't lie, man. I... Go ahead, go ahead, foreign. I, 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 I started, I started uh, becoming a fan of Steph Curry since that zero to a hundred shot out. <laughs> 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 I mean that was a big that was a big quotable though. So that you know what I'm saying that was a big ass quotable yeah, that, that year. You know what I'm saying that was a big ass quotable. So yeah, you know what I'm saying and that was just around the time. I think that might have been just around the time he really started taking off with his popularity and stuff. And that that did it. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying plus time. But who was okay? Who was everybody team here? I know I'm a Pistons and Warriors fan. I know Joker. Knicks. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Let's go with Fab's top five because she just put. It okay, where top five she said, she had the same almost like she said Kobe, MJ, Magic, LeBron, and Curry. Okay, that's a, that. I respect, respect, respect. My that thing is, is Curry in there. Right, my, my, my top five players is Larry Bird as number one. Ooh, I've heard that a lot. Yeah, I mean. I've heard that a lot since I started doing my reaction channel, my basketball channel, that a lot of older people, I started doing Larry Bird reactions, and a lot of older people, they start seeing that. Well, well uh, yeah, I got I got I definitely got uh, Larry Bird as number one. I, I'm young, too, by the way. I'm young. I'm like, I'm about to, I'm about to hit that 3-0, you know, fresh, fresh, freshly, okay. freshly 30. Okay, okay. <laughs> like I'm still 20. <laughs> hey, shit, ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm about to, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my second one, I got Yao Ming. Yeah, uh, Yao Ming is crazy. Yao Ming, wow. Yao Ming is crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm in another universe. I feel like Yao I'm Ming, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Y- Yao Ming uh, is wild, bro. Yo, you know who got one of the, yo, you know who got one of the wildest? Let's switch it up real quick. You know that's why Lil Wayne is the freaking goat. He got wild. The, he got one of the best Yao Ming verse. Did you hear what he said? My money is as tall as Yao Ming. Like, come on, <laughs> the freaking goat. Do you hear? Me? Bro, I'm still I'm, stuck on up. Yao Ming said, too. Said, Hold on, let, let, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him said, finish though. No, 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 look, look. He said, "Stand on my money head, but Yao Ming." I was <laughs> like, God. Oh true. yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Uh, go, go ahead, go ahead for it. I'm just saying that was that was wild, bro. <laughs> It's like, yeah. but okay, that's a second. I think I'm thinking y'all putting players. Whatever player got a great got a great shout out. That was one of the most tragic. That was one of the most tragic endings to a. It was though. That was that was it. That was very like, sad. I felt like that I felt was very like sad. When I passed away, when I seen like he was never gonna be the same. Yeah, that was that was a very sad. Because we got robbed. We got robbed of his greatness. Like for real, ain't gonna love you. Like it was nothing. Like no, man, yeah, he, nothing we could do. I, I guarantee you this. If he was still healthy, like he never broke his knee like that, he would have won a couple more been, MVPs. He would be, he, nah, he would have been the greatest point guard ever. Trust me. Because the way that he oh, was yeah, playing, I don't know about all that. Like, I'm telling you, the way that. that he was playing, Bro, he, he was all over. He was all over. No. Was, yeah, one of the most explosive point guards. Mm-hmm. Well. Yeah, but not, like but, not like but point guard. You might. Even, I don't know about all that. Maybe yeah yeah maybe not a point guard I got you <laughs> I don't know about all that because he uh he would have been in the, he would have been in the conversation CP3 might have something to say about that one uh, you know, so yeah. it always hurt CP always hurt no stop it hey chill but he's the he one of the greatest I said explosive seven time all defensive team 
ten thousand assists. Then come, come, bro. The man is just every team he go to, they get better. He's a playoff choker though. That's why he can't be the best. But as a floor general, oh, as a floor general, the CP he about to unlock. Oh, yeah, so. He about no. to unlock. Um, um, Wimby. It's about to be bad. He's about to unlock Wimby. Wimby about to be averaging like 25 and 10 second year. Like, it's about to be real bad. He was already averaging 10 point. Uh, like, he was already so averaging 20 and 10 with no point guard. Like, the shit is going to be wild. And then Paul George, he want to go to motherfucking Philly. Run it. You're not winning no championship over there, my guy. It's not happening. Joel yeah. B can't stay healthy. He gonna get hurt right before the uh, playoffs. Ah, my guy, yeah, my leg, my leg. He niggas trash. George Paul, George Paul. <laughs> niggas just trash. I'm tired of niggas hating on this nigga Tatum though. Y'all niggas gonna stop with this Tatum slander. Okay, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I really hate him because of this. Uh, I'm just saying. Y'all gonna stop with this? This Tatum slander. My nigga's a champion, nigga. He's a champion. When you refer to him, you refer to him as a champion. Nah, but is it all right? Let me ask Luka you a question. Fat ass. Is it fair? Is it fair? Is it fair to just say, listen? Yeah, they won the championship, but he wasn't the best player on the team. No, he was the best player on the team. He led in points, rebounds, assists, blocks. All right. Let me ask you one more question then. Is it fair to say that right now, Shea Gilgis Alexander, I would take over Tatum? Just oh yeah, me too. I ain't going that crazy. Okay. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I that's fuck with Tatum, but SGA was second in MVP. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying yesterday. It was like, yo, I'll take SGA over Tatum right now. And no, that's not a crazy not. take, though. That's a that's yeah, a that's that, that should be saying. probably the consensus, honestly, just player to player. But I will say, SGA got to go win the championship, though. He got to go win the championship, though. He got to do what Tatum. He got to do what Tatum just did, cause he got a really good team this year. You got Hartenstein over there. Now you got Alex Caruso over there. And everybody like, you got to go do it. Tatum, that nigga did it. That nigga Tatum didn't accomplish a lot more than niggas his age in the NBA. Huh? I'm trying to think. Okay, how many years he's been there since 2017? That was like, uh, Lonzo. Hey, what y'all think about Anthony Edwards right now? Choker. What, what you saying, Anthony Edwards? He, no, he cool, he cool. Yeah. He alright. He's cool. I've been, I've been cool. seeing his name pop up like, like crazy. No, see, the reason why they pop up because they try to compare him to Michael Jordan. That's where I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he said yeah, that. I he said, said that dumbass shit talking about uh, Michael Jordan was the only person skilled back in the nineties. Oh. And they got it on his oh. ass. That's yeah, why you can keep hearing I, I the like, name because they getting I, on I like his that. ass. <laughs> I like Anthony no Edwards, though, because he have a passion for the game, so I like that about him. No, yeah, I like his game. He just, a, lot of players, a lot of players right now are overpaid and they're not passionate about basketball. That's why. That's true. Product, ben Simmons. That's why, the product, that's why the product is lacking okay, ben in a lot of spots. Ben Simmons. See that. This know, there's some people that's not like Ben Simmons, but they're still on the court and getting paid $60 million right now. I'm just saying. Just saying. That's true. Just saying. The same. All these guys. That's why I'll be back. I'll be back in the chat. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll be. I'll be back here in just a second. All right. All right for sure. Hurry up. Hurry up. Not on the line, But yeah, definitely. I feel like that's the thing. A lot of athletes. It's just both overall in football and basketball. There's overpaid players that don't really care about the game. They don't right. care about when they gonna get the next check, which is I right, fine. But if you notice how how the game used to be, like say maybe ten years ago. People, it was like a different type of thrill for the game where they just they couldn't stand anything. Like they couldn't stand. Losing. I mean, nowadays they say they want the my fault, my fault. Come on, you can stand. Shaq, Shaq was you know going for paycheck, paycheck at one time. But, you know, he's yeah, a, he's yeah. But I'm saying that's that's small compared to right now. Like now, it's over overall in sports in general. There's a lot of that going on now where people don't really care for the crap that they used to. Right. And that's why it's showing now where you see now coaches getting fired almost every clip. It's crazy. Because it, it's about, it's it's about the brand, brand and a, a lot of dudes is playing for the money. Now, the dudes that right. you do see that you you could tell if they playing for the game. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of them get their bag and then they start they start just playing trash as fuck. And you're like, man, okay, when what the fuck going on, bro? What do, what we got going on? Then when right. you get your ass traded, then you mad. Like, come on, man. Uh-huh. These niggas complaining about a 65-game... Rule like man, 
We got a PS65 game. Man, shut the fuck right. up and go. You get paid to get out there, nigga. That's what I'm saying. See, I feel like, I feel like that 65 game, because, like, you could get in, my G, so, like, you couldn't even fall. Bro. You could, listen, you could get injured walking your dog. That's what I'm saying. Bro, bro in the 2000s, the 90s, all that, all these niggas was playing 80, 75, 80, 80, 80 games, bro. Insane. Like, you know that shit, the medicine is way better now nah, than it was nah, back nah. then, too. Hey, you know what it is? Let me tell you what it is. A lot of these guys, they're so concerned about the bag that they don't want to get hurt to get the next bag, so they want to cut the season down so they can perform. Because they're blaming the season that is so long. That's the issue. That shit weird, bro. Guarantee, like what Hate was just saying, when it was 82 games before, there was no complaining, but now... They're like this, damn, I, don't, I might not get paid if I get a, a major injury in the 82-game season. So, But I'm like, even during the 62-something, there were still people getting hurt. So I'm like, what are y'all talking about? You get hurt regardless. It's just, it's right, that's, that's my whole thing. Baseball. Yeah. Now they mad because you got to play 65 games to get on all NBA and shit like that. But that's because you niggas don't be wanting to play. Yeah, you know, take so, rest so, games and load management and all that type of shit. Imagine you play 40 Like what, nigga? What are you talking about, bro? You play right. thirty-two games. You think you're gonna be on All NBA, man? If you don't sit your ass down, <laughs> I'm gonna take take your. Maybe you sit your ass down somewhere. Go get re, go rehab and get ready for next season. But you're not All NBA. Right. That shit yeah. be killing me. And then they and then the dudes that do play and play 70, 75 games, they barely get rewarded and shit like that. You don't like. You don't hear it be like the the 12, 13 man and shit like that. We got little stars. We have a game on uh, ABC, the Knicks, and let's say you know what I'm saying Boston, something like that. And the main star is taking rest days for what, nigga? This is a nationally televised game, bro. Right? right. Why y'all niggas want to wait to this day to? Yeah, I ain't gonna play. Yeah, I'm just rest. Ah, ah, rest what, nigga? Rest in the off season, bro. That shit is weird. I don't know. I don't get props because uh, Luca on the playoffs. He was playing with injuries, my G. That man was playing. Yeah, shout because Luca is from a different. He from a different cult. Like yeah, the the remember, the, remember the brand of basketball they play over there. This is easy, Luca. That's why Luca killing the league. This shit is easy, Luca. Luca was like, man, it, it was tougher over there. Like this shit easy. Now y'all niggas soft as hell over there. Yeah, that's not Luca. I'm, that, yeah, like, that's, had, that's how they like me. That's how a lot of them foreign players be looking at it over here. Like, this shit is way easier to play in. That's why you see Giannis doing what he doing. Jokic, Luka, shit, SGA from Canada. You see how he killing shit. Like, yep. the shit is be easy for them. Because they didn't took a lot of the physicality out of the game. You can barely touch motherfuckers now. Like, you got Austin Reeves getting... Five get most uh free throws than Steph Curry. Like the shit be really weird, bro. Well, yeah, I was gonna say I'm excited about um John Moran coming back. I'm really oh, excited about that. Man. I ain't gonna lie to you. That twenty twenty two game, uh that twenty twenty two uh finals, you know, when Boston and Warriors, I feel like the Grizzlies should've won. The Grizzlies should've won. Oh, you mean that's, oh, that's, yeah, cause you know what they were talking, you know what it is, they had that Dylan Brooks kid, he kept running his mouth. Yeah, he kept running his mouth, yeah, my nigga was, Clay put I, that, I, my nigga Clay put that, bow let me tell you, let me tell you he, his game is, is, they pay him for different reasons, cause his defense and shit, but, to me, he talked more than he played in the game, like his game, he, I was like, yo, why am I hearing you, hearing you more than I see you? Exactly. Game, do the talk, yeah. just, I was like, annoyed with that. My nigga Clay had to put that, that three-pointer, on him, Curry had to put that bow on him. I you was happy as hell. We beat the like, niggas. I feel, like, I feel like the Grizzlies, though, the coach too wasn't that good either that season. So like the coach, he looks yeah, like he, he ain't good now. Like he doesn't have no guts, and you know what I'm saying? It's just like that's why I feel like. Now nah, they still have the same coach, but I don't feel oh. like he's not. He's not the one to get them to the promised land. Like they they need to bring back Mark Jackson, all these people that you said coach. They ain't gonna never uh, bring him back. And if, and if, if, you if, it, if you think about it, he was responsible for the Warriors dynasty because before. Oh yeah, like, trust me, I know. <laughs> he had it in place and everything. They just had, they just hired Steve Kerr. He came in and did what he, and then it was easy. He was already calling them the. He was. I remember back in 2012, 2013 when I was watching him. 
And he was calling him the, the greatest backcourt ever. And people thought he was crazy. He was like, yo. And the greatest shooter. And the greatest shooter. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, bro. Like, this is the greatest shooting backcourt in history. They are like, man, whatever. It's like, I'm trying to tell you. Fast forward 10 years later. Was he lying? But that's why I was too. And it's like, I say, I, with, with how the NBA was back then, because they were doing, everybody was like, damn, the Warriors going back to the NBA Finals again. And it was like automatic almost. There was just yeah. too much teaming. There were just too much teaming up back then. If you look at it now, there's a lot of parody right now. You got the six. Yes, I love it. That's good. The Knicks is good. The Pacers is I good. I love it. It's spread out. The Magic gonna come up. Then you have the. That's my dark horse. Like, the Magic. Sacramento, Sacramento might be good. The Warriors, I don't know about. Hey, like, chill, on, chill. We gonna be good. We gonna, gonna be the, good. Who's gonna be the worst? Who's gonna be the worst team? Though? The worst team. Portland. Or, or Brooklyn. Is <laughs> hey, hey, chill, my squad. We definitely not gonna be the worst. Do you see our squad? We definitely Pistons, not gonna be the worst. I don't, I don't think the Pistons gonna be that bad. How bad can they beat them last season? Come on, bro. We ain't gonna. I don't, know, they're, they're, I don't up. think they're gonna be that bad either. That's my. See, y'all forgot. Like, see what y'all forgot is we got Trajan Langdon from New Orleans. He came in and bad, clean bad, house. He just no, look, clean I think, house. I think I think the Raptors are gonna be bad. That's what I think will be bad. I think they will. Um, I don't know. They might be all right. They got quickly over there and RJ Barrett and a couple of mothers doing uh, Scotty Barnes. Every every twenty games. Don't give me that. Come Damn, on. I shouldn't have said that. You 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 is from yeah. You I'm from the Knicks. Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> but RJ Barrett been hooping trash. though. I think Barry been hooping, trash. bro, over there. I know, but the Raptors will be trash. They'll probably yeah, they're gonna be trash. ass. They're gonna be trash. They might, for win, sure. um, they might win twenty games. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't know about. Well, shit, I don't know. You might be right. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing because uh, they, I ain't, they, ain't, they, ain't, they, ain't, they off season wasn't Raymond, really that good. Yeah, Raymond. I, I, Who's I, the worst? The worst the team Raptors from team. last year was oh the um the Trailblazers. I mean, the the Wizards are going to be bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Trailblazers. I, I said Portland. That's what I said you in the think, first place. You think, you think they're going to be bad? You think no, they're going to be good. They're going to be better this year. They got uh, Donovan Klingon. They got my man from UConn. Oh, I think, yeah, the, one of the uh, center. They'll be better than the Raptors. They might be better. And then they still got my boy Scoot, even though he was ass as fuck last year. <laughs> He was fucking hey. trash. I was like, man, this nigga ass as hell, man. I put my faith in you, nigga. I was mad as hell. I'm like, bro, I thought he was going to be pretty. I'm like, this nigga ass. But then, like, the last 10, 15 games, he, he kind of was a little better. But, man, for the first, like, 30, 40 games, this nigga was trash as fuck. I couldn't even watch. I had to turn the game off, bro. I stream all the games illegally for free and shit. So, I'd be, like, watching whatever game. I'm like, bro, I had to turn that shit off, bro. That shit is... That shit was not good. He was just breaking. Yo, what y'all, what y'all think about Bronny's Bronny's debut? I don't. I don't no comment. I don't know about that one. They might. They might spam you know my channel. No comment. You know. You know. You know. They gonna have to play Bronny. You know. They gonna have to play him. No, nah, he's ass going nah. to the G League, nigga. Is he on two way or is, or is he like automatically like? Two-way? No, he on the two. He on the automatically. He got a guaranteed oh. contract. Yeah, he, he got guaranteed. Oh, oh, he got oh, a guaranteed. He got, so he got, he got he got he the only one that got guaranteed right now, right? <laughs> I think so. I'm not sure. Think so, yeah. But I know they better not put that boy on the floor. My boy Rob Dillingham gonna cook his ass sauce. Yeah, he gonna get that first crossover. I think he had got crossed over when he was in the summer league. He got crossed over. And he was getting cooked. Him he and Alex Sar was trash. How you was number two overall pick? You do, you score zero points two two motherfucking games in a row. He was trash. Well, but he I, was scoring though. He was scoring, but he wasn't scoring. Yo, no, I can't wait. Like, so his, his brother's a, is a baller though. His brother's gonna be a baller. Man, his brother averaging five points a game too. <laughs> no, nah, I'm saying his brother gonna remind me of like Paul George a little, like Paul George from Indiana. He might, he might be a little. Like, his brother might be. A, it, it depends. I don't know. I ain't gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge him too much because this is like his. He might prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But from what I've seen up until so far, he ain't no NBA player. His ass need to go to. Nah, uh, not yet, But I'm saying the YMCA like, or something. Yeah. Oh, you know who I, who I want to see in the NBA? Um, that's not in the NBA right now. Um, who's the other son? Yeah, Gilbert's son yeah, is a Gilbert's baller. Son is a, yeah, he need to work on his playmaking though. He be just yeah. You know what about his playmaking? What about what about Melo son? Melo son, I was just gonna say it. Like that. Listen, Kyan is it, bro. 
I'm trying to tell number you. Number one in New York. He was one, number one out here. I'm trying to tell him. Cayenne is it. And when he get, finally get to the league, oh, him, oh, Cooper Flag, when them two when them two niggas get to the league, bro, it's going to be bad. Especially is he coming, that. Is he, yeah. is he coming 2025 NBA or the, the one after? No, nah, Cayenne might be like 26, I think. He might be like 26. Or twenty seven, one of them. I know, I know. Uh, Cooper Flag is twenty five. He come in there clear. That that white boy can ball. No cap. I watched a couple of a couple of his games, a couple of his highlights. He can ball. He was cooking the NBA players. And, uh, and the USA thing. He listen. He liked that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why he signed with New Balance, but he liked that. <laughs> He's athletic. People are saying he's a comparison like Jason Taylor. I don't really see. I don't know. I gotta see because I ain't but listen. I ain't gonna see another Wimpy. That nigga, I knew as soon as I saw that nigga. Listen, he it. I told niggas what he was gonna do. Twenty and ten. I was like, he's finna dominate, bro. This nigga literally is like a set. He KD on offense. I'm so mad. He KD on offense and he like Hakeem like on defense, bro. The nigga is just ridiculous, bro. Like, and he not even. This is the. This is like the worst he gonna look. So imagine right. in four five years when he finally hit his prime. Listen, it's gonna be bad. He get some help around him, but watch out for that boy Wimpy for real. You know, uh, I think I'm pretty because I'm a Spurs fan right now, so I'm ready for like the um the castle. You know, since it's on castle, I kind of like this game. I feel your pain, brother. I'm a Pistons fan. I feel your pain. The Spurs, yeah. Man. It's been tough. A couple, tough couple years. Yeah. Way longer for me, yeah. but, you know. What's he about you? What's he about you? I'm a Pistons fan and a Warriors fan. And it's been a long couple years for me as a Pistons yeah, I'm, fan. I'm a Pistons fan and, and a Spurs fan. Oh my I'm God! Like, so you know what I, well, you know how like, how I feel, man. man. I'm, from, I'm from Detroit, man. I'm from Detroit. D- okay, Detroit in the building. Straight Detroit over here for sure. Oh God. East side. Oi. Oi. Man, listen. You got it. Like, listen. You don't understand. Being a Pistons fan, like that should. Listen. It'll be rough for y'all. Huh? It's, it's, been, it's been rough. It's been rough. Yeah, it's been rough. Listen, listen, Kay Cunningham is literally uh, the, the, my saving grace, bro. Rich, Rich said it's all <laughs> making sense. Kade is, we love Kay here. Like, Kade is my literally saving grace. I made five videos telling them to pay this nigga or, bro, I'm going downtown and it's going to be bad, bro. <laughs> I, I, I'm going downtown, bro, to the Little C's Arena, bro. Stop playing with us. And we ain't had a franchise player since fucking Grant Hill, really. Because when we won our championship, yeah. we didn't have no, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have no Grant Hill or no, no, we didn't have no high end. We just had a collective group of motherfucking great, good players. Like, we had Chauncey, but Chauncey wasn't, you know, like all like all that. So, we won, like, no, really no big stars and stuff like role. that. Huh? You said what, Rich? I said everybody was great in their role. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So... Big, so this yeah. this is big. So and then we, we were happy that I know I was that he was better than Jalen Green. I was happy. I was like, cause I'm like, bro, they was trying to take him. I'm like, no, please take K cut him. That that's it right there. And then for us not to put shit around him, bro, like it's is 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 real bad. But I'm glad he fired everybody. Troy Weaver bitch ass gone. Killian Hayes is fucking gone. Thank God, cause that nigga is fucking I mean- trash. Bro, so I just really hope we I hope we win like thirty games this year. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Were you a Detroit fan when y'all? Um, I'm, 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 I'm like, um, Listen, don't please don't say that name. Don't do that. Don't say that name. Whoever said that name, don't say it. No more. Darko Militich. Cut it out, bro. Like, don't say that name. That name is forbidden here, bro. A young know what I'm talking about. That don't, don't do that. That's a triggering word, bro. Like that shit is that shit that shit is sad. What's up, bro? What he saying? What he say? What he say? Darko Milicic, bro. Stop. Don't just don't say that name, bro. That shit is, <sighs> bro. We literally picked this nigga over Carmelo, bro. What the fuck was going on, bro? Do you know? Oh, I saw Ed 
Like, no, no, I know what you're talking about. No, we no, still no. mad over that. Like, we still mad. Niggas is still mad here. Like, bruh. We could have had Melo, bruh. Like, Melo thought he was coming here. And these niggas pick a nigga with no highlights, bruh. What are we doing, bruh? Like, that shit. It's like, we still won the championship after that, 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 that and was good up until, like, 20... 2008, 2009, whatever like that When we got old Once Ben Wallace left We was kind of cooked Honestly Like we was old and shit And then we kept picking Garbage niggas Stanley Johnson Motherfucking Bro Like Greg Monroe And shit like that We did choose Andre Drummond He was nice But bro Like just trash drafting bro That's what it is it's, it's been trash drafting for the last like 10 years, bro. Like, hey, real quick, hey, I just want to ask you how many points straight did uh, did LeBron score on y'all in the playoffs that one? That young LeBron. Well, like, you talking about game five and then game six, he choked and need Booby Gibson to score 31? Didn't, and we put y'all out. You know what I'm saying? Out, right? And then, then, then the next time <laughs> when we whipped on his ass, yeah. Look, look, I, so I just wanted to say it all makes sense. Your LeBron hate, it all makes sense. Oh, no, I don't hate LeBron. I just tell the truth. The nigga's a loser. The nigga's a loser, and he controlled no, no, control control the media. He controlled the media and paid media to, you know, say he the best. We already know. It's, I got tons of videos. Y'all could, y'all could subscribe to me. I got tons of videos explo exposing it. Like, the nigga is, you know what I'm saying... You know, oh he, boy. he cool, he a great player, but you know what I'm saying, he kind of, he not, he not clutch, he not, he not that dude, bro, he just, he need help, That's not the truth. he That's need not more the and truth. more help every year, and more and more, how many more years you gonna play, bro, 30 years, you're not catching Jordan, it's not happening, you know he lead the league in clutch stats, you know no he don't, that nigga lead the league I mean, in finals losses, that nigga is 22 and 33 in the finals in all finals games. The nigga lead the he lead all time in turnovers, top five in missed free throws. Nah, but, nah, but you gotta give it to Rich though. Rich is right with the clutch part. If you look at the numbers, he's definitely bro. Clutch. He's <laughs> not. I run a channel and I didn't already don't debunk that. Don't come for don't come for Rich head top. I'm just. I already debunked that. I see. I'm gonna have to share my videos more because I've already debunked that. Uh -oh. So that's fa that's not definitely not true. I not run the NBA channel, so that shit definitely not true. They were definitely had in the Kobe has hit the most game winners in history, thirty-seven, and that's facts. You can look we're that up. About no, we're, talking about, buddy, we're, we're talking about, about in the league, league right now. We're talking about right now. No, about right now, no, he's still not the most clutch. Right. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> he's still not the most clutch. It's yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, what up, fellas? I just he's got still him. not. Curry just, bro, he was right. just on the floor with Curry, and they nick, they double teaming Curry while KD and LeBron is on the court. Come on now, stop it. You talking about when LeBron got the Olympic MVP? Stop it, and he didn't do shit. I was not, no, I ain't gonna hold and he didn't do shit. Curry averaged thirty points in the last. What are you talking about? Curry averaged more points in the Olympics than him. And, so, he, so, and he had more so points to and he had more points stats. to him in the last two games. What are we doing? If it so, weren't for Curry, we wouldn't even medal. We wouldn't even wouldn't have no no gold no gold medal. What are we talking about? That nigga scored two points in the fourth quarter of both games. What the about, nigga what is about not about clutch. What about all the other games that it takes to get? To he that didn't game. do nothing. The South Sudan game where he waited to the uh, end to hit that to hit that two pointer. When I'm Durant I'm went I'm perfect I'm from the field, I'm or how about the game with De when Devin Booker had 18 points? Come on, bro, he you not just ignore the stats. That's your thing. What stats? <laughs> what stats? I, no, I, all y'all do is look at the stats instead of watching the game. I watched the game, the whole games, yeah. all of them. He, it's he, okay. he wasn't. He wasn't. I'm, I'm sorry. On the Jumbotron, buddy. I'm sorry. He's just not that guy. He just not. Right, I've been watching LeBron since 2001, so I didn't watch like his whole career. He's just not that guy, bro. All right, let's go to 80K. Sounds go like ahead. a hater to me. Go, go ahead, 80K. Listen, I, it's only hate I, when it's I, criticism. I, I, I joined. I saw Uncut NBA talk. I listened. I'm a. I, I understand what kind of time is being on in here, so I'm a just. I'm a just. I'm good. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got hate saying LeBron not that guy. He's not that what guy. I want an NBA I channel. I didn't expose them over and over again. I could show videos of facts no, 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 why he no, no, not that no, guy. I don't know what not that guy means and what you saying. And I don't know what y'all talking. Man, Steph Curry won the last two games. LeBron deserved the MVP for how he played consistently. He was our Captain America. He did. No, he was not. We See, yeah, yeah. LeBron Glazer all up in the chat. It's all good. We well, got I'm another sure. LeBron I'm Glazer. Sure. I said the other time day in the chat, I ain't, uh, I, I'm a NBA, I don't have a team. I'm an NBA fan. Real. I play ball. If you, I got videos of him of how he played, and he was not, and he was not, cons- he was not. To me, anyone watching ball. And I was watching the whole thing. Come on, bro. Cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Cut it out. That nigga folded. Especially the last... Especially the metal games he folded. He was not good. That's... A, no, he wasn't. I'm looking at the numbers right now. Go ahead. What's his average? What's his average? His average, he averaged 14.2 points. And Curry averaged 14.8 no, points. No, no, no. That's okay, number no, one. No, no. Hold on, hold on. I let, I let, I let you speak. I let you, I let you speak. I let you speak. I let you speak. What's his assist? I let you speak. And like I said, he had two points in both fourth quarter games when we were supposed to medal. He was not showing up down the clutch at all. Like, I don't want to hear that. I watched all the games. And then Durant LeBron went perfect from the field the in one of the games. Devin Booker scored 18 points in another one of the games. He come on, bro. Cut it out, bro. He, he averaged a double double. Four Cut it out. I watched the games, bro. You trying to tell me numbers when I sat there and watched the games and watched who was the most impactful people on the court. Not a, not so where eight. was? Hold on. Yeah, hold on, yeah, so much okay, so I have to turn fan. Hold on. So you, cause you keep talking about the last two games and I and I watch. I'm talking about. I said something about the other games too. I said something about the rap performance. I said something about Devin Booker performance. I watched all the games. Who should have won if not LeBron? I, I, mean, I, I just told you. Was, every, the, the whole Twitter was saying Curry should have won. What are you talking about? He went. What are you talking about, bro? He went. It went viral. What are you talking about? Everybody has told you who should have won. What are you talking about, bro? It's about Twitter is prisoners of the moment. What are you talking about? It's, it's even NBA players is telling you who should have won. Nobody what are you talking game. about? Nobody argue. You delusional LeBron. right now. I, I'll tell you what you talk about. The whole FIBA World Cup voted that man as the MVP. So you actually, actually, it wasn't unanimous. Right. You know, when they played the commercial or the animation of uh, him gathering up everybody, that was and the they, uh, and that's why everybody went crazy and said, "What the Who's fuck? The why did this nigga man? win the MVP? Like this Who's nigga was this man? nigga was nowhere to be found in the fourth quarters." <laughs> Where was this nigga at? Nowhere to be found, bro. I watched watched LeBron James. If you watch the game that you say... I did, and I just told you. I just told you that he he good until until you really need him in the fourth quarter and shit like that. Where he had two points in the middle games. He was no motherfucking help. Bro, cut it out, bro. For three quarters and Cut it out That nigga was Nowhere to be found Standing on the corner while, Standing on the corner While Curry that's take that's us home To the fucking gold medal talk. Cut it out bro Who Who guarded Jokic Cut it Not him He ain't guard Jokic LeBron James Didn't guard Jokic he didn't, he didn't stop Jokic. What are you talking about, bro? What do you mean he didn't stop Jokic Did you watch the fourth quarter Yes I watched the fourth quarter He did not stop Jokic Stop it bro not, and B at first, and then another thing, and B was down there cooking Jokic. What are you talking about, bro? You watching LeBron? You not watching the game? You watching to see what LeBron do? That's what y'all do. Y'all watch to see what LeBron do, not what the NBA, what not what the game do. Y'all watching to see what LeBron do. You're, you're hate watching LeBron. You're hate watching. No, y'all watching to see what LeBron do. Anybody that watched them games know he was not the MVP. Hey, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I'm not taking a side or anything, but I would just say, the thing is, you notice with LeBron how his game is. If someone is open in the fourth quarter and they can get a better shot, he you might pass it up. Bro, to you him. make it excuses when you score player. two Brand points in your fourth quarter when you're supposed to be the best player on the team. Stop with the excuses, bro. That's all y'all do is with these excuses for this man. It's, Cut it I, out, I, bro. I, I got a feeling you just silly for the fun. Like, Got no, I got a feeling you don't know what the hell you talking about. Cause no, if you no, watch I, the games, you can tell that that nigga, that nigga was no help down on those games. That's why everybody had a problem with him winning. 
What are you he talking hater, about, bro? He a hater, 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 DK. Yeah, that nigga. Hey, hey, that nigga. That nigga is his name, so I'ma let that nigga be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's let why that I be cooking be. his ass with the facts. Huh, like huh, I just said, huh, that nigga huh, top huh, five huh, and miss huh, and miss shots all the time. The nigga top five, only the only nigga, the only non big man top five and miss motherfucking free throws all the time. But this nigga supposed to be the goat. Y'all better get the fuck out of here. How we get to talking oh, about free throws? We talking about this nigga talking about free throws. I'm talking about him as a whole. I was talking about him as a whole, not even just the Olympics. We was talking about the top five before you got in here. Before you got in here, sir, we were talking about who was your top five. So that's what we were talking about at first. Before you say something. Okay. So talk about what? Yeah. <laughs> You shifted it to the Olympics and lose the argument. No, I was talking about the Olympics, why I have Steph Curry over him. That's what I was talking about. We were always talking about the top five. So the top five, what's the question? Let's get to the question. Every, I was saying, who top, every, I was saying, who top five, who has their top five? I named my top five, Joker named his top five, Rich, Young, and everybody named their top five. You saying like our top five all time? Yes, all time. time. Okay. All right, so just top five all. Okay, so here Mount Rushmore. Um, I'm going in no order, just five. I mean Jordan, 